My name is Rick Renner, and it's time for you to refuel. Today is July the 1st. We are more than halfway through the year, and I want to thank you for being with me every day on Sparkling Gems, and I hope it's been a blessing to you. And today I'm speaking to you from my book, Sparkling Gems, and the name of today's gem, July the 1st, is Are You a Revealer or a Concealer? Are You a Revealer or a Concealer? And our focus word today is from 1 Corinthians I'm sorry, 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 20, where Paul talks about gossip, but instead of using the normal word for gossip, he uses the Greek word for a whisperer, a whisperer. And every time I see this in 2 Corinthians 12, verse 10, I think about a lady that was in our church when we were growing up. This woman loved to gossip. She just cherished a moment. When she could sit on the divan next to somebody and say, have you heard this? Have you heard that? And I would sit in our living room and as a young child, I would look at her and would think, how in the world can you be so two-faced? To behave one way at church and immediately after church, your lips are so loose. They're talking about everybody and everything, even things that you don't even know if it's true. And she knew it was wrong to do it, and that's why she whispered it. If you look, gossip usually happens very quietly. People usually don't call a meeting together and say, I want everybody to listen today, I'm going to gossip. Usually people say, have you heard? Do you think it's true? Well, I don't know if it's true or not, but I'm going to tell you, I have it from a pretty reliable source. Or one girlfriend says to another girlfriend, meet me in the bathroom. They privately go into the bathroom and they have a little conversation where they discuss something that is none of their business whatsoever. The Bible calls this whispering. And in fact, this word whispering is in a great big list of horrible, horrible sins, including strife, sedition, adultery, fornication, debates. Right in the middle of that list is this word whispering, which means to gossip. And today I want to ask you a question. But first of all, listen to this. In Proverbs 11:13, the Bible says, "A talebearer revealeth secrets." Are you a talebearer? But he that is of a faithful spirit concealeth a matter. So here's some questions we need to consider. When people think of you, Do they think of you as a talebearer who repeats everything you hear, or do they find you to be confidential, private, and trustworthy? Do you have the reputation of being able to conceal a matter, or do people think you're two-faced and have loose lips? Are your friends certain that if someone starts to say something negative about them, you'll walk away? Or are they afraid that you're going to sit and let them put all that garbage in your ears? You have to remember that you have a right to get up and walk away from every conversation. And if you sit and allow people to fill your ears with garbage about somebody else, you are just as guilty as the one that is whispering and the one that is gossiping. You have a choice. You can pull up a chair, sit down and say, hmm, that's so interesting. Or you can say, you know what? My ears are made for things much better than the trash that you're trying to tell me right now. Now, let me tell you what that will do. That will either infuriate the person that's talking to you and they'll judge you and say, oh, you're judging me. Or it will make them rethink what they're repeating and will make them repent for repeating such information. And I want to tell you too that most things which people whisper about is usually incorrect information. Everybody wants to believe that they know something about somebody when in fact usually they don't. Maybe they've heard something or they've heard what somebody else has said and for some reason it makes people feel powerful as though they have inside information about somebody else when in fact what they know probably isn't even close to the truth. So when you have this temptation to whisper about somebody else 
Ask yourself, would Jesus do this? Would the Holy Spirit do this? Am I a tailbearer or am I a concealer? Make sure you choose the side which pleases God.